Hello and welcome to MTB NEWS. Here are today's headlines. Riding season officially began the other day and coronavirus showed up and kicked us all directly in the balls. But some mountain bikers are still getting out to ride because as your friends would say, you couldn't stay within six feet of me if you tried. But for those choosing to stay home during self-quarantine, many are turning to their indoor trainers to stay in shape and the popular app known as Zwift, which is pretty much cycling's equivalent to Grand Theft Auto, except you can't steal a car or run over any hookers. And finally, e-bikes. Did they cause coronavirus? And that is it for today's headlines. Now let's move on to today's mountain bike trending topics. It would appear that the mullet has made a comeback, at least in the downhill world, that is. That is right. What? Ooh, that's nice. The new trend in tire size is to mullet one's bike by putting a 29-inch tire in the front and a 27 and a half in the back. Me, personally, I run a 29er in the front with a 26 in the back. I call it the rat tail. Mullets, now synonymous with three things, mountain bikes, the Tiger King, and meth. Some companies like Industry 9 are shifting their production from manufacturing mountain bike parts and apparel to making medical masks and respirators. I9 assures that not only will the mask be effective, but when you wear them, you will sound like a swarm of bees running down the hallway. And speaking of the coronavirus, here are the guys from GMBN with a little public service announcement. Well, hello there, you beautiful people. We here at GMBN just want to remind you, if you're gonna go out and ride, to be mad chill when you do so. Dial back the nah and tell your mates to do the same. Isn't that right, Neil? That's absolutely right, Blake. After all, mountain biking is a dangerous sport. Now's not the time to be pushing the progression. The last thing that we need is for you to hurt yourself end up in a hospital. Whoa, calm down, Neil. I've never seen him so excited. Well, that's all that we've got for you today on GMBN. Back to you, Bobo. Thank you, Blake and Neil. And now we're moving on to a little segment I like to call, Did You Know? And bringing us today's Did You Know is my wife, Mrs. Bobo. Hello, everyone. Today's Hi. Did You Know is about, well, about you. It's about me, really? Oh boy. Did you know you were recently featured on a fart fetish website? They have fart fetish websites? They do. That's a thing. And they even have a list of all of the videos that your farts occurred in and the timestamp in which they occurred. Uh, well, this doesn't exactly qualify as mountain bike news. Oh, it's not, but it's hilarious. The site goes on to describe you as super hot mountain biker doing some truly amazing farts. Whereas I would describe you as mildly attractive dude who doesn't know how to do the dishes. Whoa. Kind of chubby guy who doesn't know how to do laundry. Chubby. Okay, how about a better looking guy than Steve Buscemi and not a micro penis? I will take it. Okay, that's it for our headlines. Now let's move on to today's top story. After months of hiatus from YouTube, the single track sampler is back. That is right, mountain bike Jesus has been resurrected. Happy Easter, everybody. And now let's head over to the only guy I know who could boost high enough into the atmosphere to get a look at the forecast. Here's Tan Daddy with the weather. Well, it's hot. Thank you, Tan Daddy. And our final headline comes from my colleague and your favorite from Netflix's series, The Tiger King, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Exotic. Thanks, Bobo, thanks. I got my, my kitty cat here, and we got the last headline of the day. Uh, all right, here we go. According to singletracks.com, the coronavirus has hit the mountain bike industry at the worst of times. And while some businesses like gas stations and grocery stores remain open, non-essential businesses like mountain bike shops, liquor stores, and marijuana dispensaries are operating under a rather gray area. First of all, non-essential, 
Let me just agree to disagree. Secondly, do you know what this means, Bobo? This means that people in Colorado are having to find and buy illegal marijuana for the first time in like years. Uh, oh, okay, Joe, but, uh, well, what, what about the bike shops? Uh, how are they keeping business going? Well, some bike shops are remaining open and uh, they encourage people to make appointments before stopping by and then they just let people in one at a time. Again, very similar to how illegal marijuana is purchased. Hey, what happens when they fix your bike super fast? Does the mechanic make you hang out for a little bit so that the neighbors don't get suspicious? Okay, or do they make you exchange your debit card and those new carbon handlebars at the same time? All right, all right. The only difference is the shit that I get at the bike shop is way more addictive. Okay, Joe Exotic, everybody, and that is our show for today. Thank you for tuning in to MTB NEWS, bringing you live, local, and late-breaking news. Hey, man, after we go to this bike shop, you want to swing by Dairy Queen and get some munchies? Damn, kitty.